Hi there, welcome to my Python tutorial series and in this video we're going to continue building our Telegram bot but before getting started I would like to mention that we have a Discord server you can share ideas, ask questions or discuss Python or non-Python related topics it doesn't matter we also have a Telegram chat and channel and I'm going to leave the links in the description section below thank you Alright, let's continue working on our Telegram bot in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly create configuration file for your Telegram bot. And also, I'm planning to show you how to work with emojis and how to send emojis, how to make our bot send emojis to our user. Basically, I'm going to show you how to work with dice emoji that basically simulates rolling a dice that eventually lands on a random number from 1 to 6. So this just adds a little bit of randomness in our uh, Telegram bot. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to show you is telegram configuration file is bot configuration file bot configuration file is basically a config.py is created on the same level as handlers folder in this configuration file we have a class bot config this is a simple initialized method that includes self admin ids and welcome message and the reason i have created this class is basically because we can use this class to encapsulate some context shared data I mean that data that can be used between different handlers so this is basically the data that can be shared between different handlers for example between our comment start or other commands that we can use in our comment start i'm going to pass through a new variable that's called config this variable should be something like bot config of course we should import this bot config from our configuration there should be bot config file i'm planning to replace this message answer with and this is going to be config welcome message so we basically address to this variable to this you know attribute and this attribute is encapsulated in this class and you might be wondering where is this class connected to our bot how does our agram bot understand that we have to use exactly this value and in our main.py in our entry point basically we just have to import from bot config and after this I'm planning to create a new variable assigned to bot config class boot admin list admin ids list for example something like this and something like this doesn't matter this is basically a list a collection of all the identifiers that should point to your admins and the next thing is our welcome message welcome message should be equal something like welcome to our bot and that's it you can also place here emojis for example this one Agram perfectly processes these emojis. All right, let's add the following configuration here is a context variable to our dispatcher object. In order to do this, we just need to take our dispatcher, put here square brackets, and specify here is a key value, config, and assign this value to configuration variable, and that's it. And this configuration variable is the instance of our bot configuration class that encapsulates all variables that we pass through during the initialization. Ideally, this bot configuration should be something like single tone pattern. But in this case, for simplicity, I decided to choose very simplistic method, very simple approach. I just created a simple bot config file, bot config class. And after completing this step, you need to... Basically, you don't have to do anything else. You just activate your virtual environment and start a script. Once we do this, we can see if we type here start command, our bot responds us the message like welcome to our bot. So this is practically that message that we have specified during our configuration. So that's pretty cool. Alright, so here is another method that enables us to check if our user is administrator or not. It just checks this the user's identification in our predefined list, admin identifiers, and that's it. So if our user is administrator, the bot responds with a message and administrator. If not, it responds with a message, you are not administrator. So this is basically the way of how you can check the user for administrative privileges. We can check this bot later, but now let's concentrate on another thing I would like to demonstrate you here. And here's the another method. This method responds the dice to your user. If our user sends dice command to our bot, the bot will respond with this dice emoji this dice emoji essentially provokes telegram to roll the dice the next thing i would like to show you today is another command that we can use in our agram library and this is pretty useful 
is replying to other messages. Comment reply. This function basically replies to your message. And you can also put here emoji. You can basically put here whatever you want. You can use markdown here. I forgot about this detail, but it's essential to remember about that. Let's start our script and see our bot in action. Let's try the command dice. And here you are. You can see the dice that's being rolled. Now we see the result. Okay, four. And the other option was admin info. Let's check it. You're not an admin, but you can add yourself as admin to this list. This is pretty simple. All you have to do is just open this get my ID. You can see the username of this bot. You just have to send a message here and you're going to get your ID. You can append your user ID into your list, configure this properly and see the result. That's all of it for today's video. I also hope you found this short video helpful. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.